Hello everyone. So in this video, we are going to learn how to how to find the angle between two vectors, right? So we have vector A and vector B. Now we have to find the angle between two vectors, right? Suppose we have vector A and this is vector B. So we have to find this angle theta, right? Just you need to remember formula like cos theta is equal to A dot b divided by magnitude of a into magnitude of b right and one more formula we can remember like sine theta is equal to cross product of two vector and the magnitude of this divided by magnitude of a into magnitude of b right and from here from here we can write theta is equal to cos inverse. So this is a dot b divided by a and this is b. Similarly, here we can write theta is equal to sine inverse. So this will be like a cross b and the magnitude of this, right? And divided by, so magnitude of a dot magnitude of b. Right. Okay. So let's have one question that will make more clear. So we have vector A. Suppose this is I cap plus J cap and plus K cap. And another vector B is equal to I cap plus J cap minus K cap. Right. So we have to find the angle between these two vectors. So cos theta will be A dot B. Right. So i plus j cap plus k cap right dot i cap plus j cap minus k cap right and divided by magnitude of this okay and dot so this is i cap plus j cap minus k cap right so if you multiply this that means if you take the dot product so here you'll get 1 dot 1. So this is 1. Again, 1 dot 1. So plus 1. And this is minus 1 divided by. So this will be 1 plus 1 and plus 1. Right? Again, this is, okay. So this will be dot actually. Yeah. Okay. So this will be 1 plus 1 and minus 1 whole square. So this is 1. So you'll get 1 by, so this is root 3, root 3, so 3. So from here, theta will be cos inverse 1 by 3. This is how you can easily find the angle between two vectors, right? Let me tell you one concept here. So if you generalize this formula, suppose we have vector A, A1 i cap plus A2 j cap plus A3 k cap and vector b is b1 i cap b2 j cap and b3 k cap then angle will be so a dot b so this will become a1 a1 b1 plus a2 b2 plus a3 b3 divided by a1 square plus a2 square plus a3 square square root dot b1 square plus b2 square plus b3 square square root of this right this is how you can find the angle again you can find uh, by using the cross product like sine theta is equal to a cross b magnitude of a cross b divided by magnitude of a dot b right okay so okay now now let me tell you one more concept here okay so two vectors so two vectors suppose we have a is equal to a1 i cap a2 j cap plus a3 k cap and vector b is equal to b1 i cap b2 j cap plus b3 k cap these two vectors will be parallel right these two vectors will be parallel 
that means theta will be either 0 or pi right okay so the these two vectors will be parallel just write down the condition here so this will be like a1 by a a1 by b1 is equal to a2 by b2 is equal to a3 by b3 right and these two vector will be perpendicular right these two vector will be perpendicular that means theta will be 90 degree right so condition for this will be a1 b1 plus a2 b2 plus a3 b3 will be zero right so these are two conditions okay now based on this let's have a question so yes we have this question right just try to solve this again the very simple one so we have two vectors a is equal to 2i cap plus 3j cap minus k cap and b is equal to minus 4i cap minus 6j cap plus lambda k cap right so we have to find the value of lambda for which first case is parallel so these two will be parallel if the ratio like 2 by minus 4 is equal to 3 by minus 6 is equal to minus 1 by lambda so you can write this one as minus 1 by 2 minus 1 by 2 and this is minus 1 by lambda obviously if you equate you'll get lambda is equal to 2 so this is the first case now the second thing so second thing we have to find the value of lambda if these two are perpendicular so perpendicular means 2 into minus 4 so minus 8 now 3 into minus 6 so minus 18 and minus lambda so this will be equal to 0 right so from here lambda will be equal to minus 26 so this will be the answer right okay hope you got this concept thank you